Okay, super busy day today. Ben is working on painting all the edges and stuff of the house. He's taping everything up. He's gonna actually spray it. Uh, I wish I could help, but I kind of don't wish I could help, but I can't help either way, so it's fine. It's fine. I am gonna go street register the Z. So this will be the first time since I've owned it that it will be street legal, which is pretty exciting to me. It'll be fun to drive it around on the road. I'll probably hate it after a little while, but it'll be cool. Like driving my missile drift car on the street because the vet giveaway has ended. Um, it ended last night at midnight. We do still have to put the trans in and stuff, but that's okay because we gotta wait about 10 days to announce the winner thing, send it off to a third party, um, and then they pick the winner out of all the entries that we have. So that still gives us plenty of time to get the new trans in and all of that, which we gotta pick up tomorrow. The angle kit should be here today, which we'll probably be doing in this video. Uh, we got some stuff to do to the Z and prep for this coming trip, which is in a couple days. The whole point of registering it is because we're gonna go drive the tail of the dragon, uh, me, Matt, and Adam on our way up to Pennsylvania to do a team tandem comp. So I wanna drive my Z because I've never driven the dragon. I've never even been there. So I'm like super excited about it. So we're gonna go register it. I uh, get that part of this situation done. So I'm used to the DMV that I found back in Oviedo that I could literally walk in and within 10 minutes I'd be out. Whereas this one, uh, it's over an hour wait, not used to this. If you go to like, I, I've just gotta find like a small DMV out here. So I found the small DMV there. My coworker told me about it. I had a small DMV where I lived before that. You know, just like the tiny places that don't do driver's license and stuff. Those places are the ones to go to. But this is like an all service tax collector, so I'm gonna we'll be here for a while. Okay, well that definitely took a while, but once I actually got to my turn, it was quick and they were super nice, so it was worth it. It all worked out, disease registered, we gotta pull the plate off the vet, and then we're gonna go on a little celebratory cruise to get coffee, since I have never legally driven this thing on the street, and I'm kind of excited. Threw some rib nuts in the bash bar. Well, the factory crash bar since it's aluminum, so I can just bolt the plate onto that. I felt like that was pretty clever. Let's see if it actually works. You gotta make sure when you're, especially going into something really hard like this, that you don't pull too hard on the rib nut when you're basically pressing it in because you can pull the threads and like oblong them. That's I almost did that on this one. Time for coffee. Okay, one more quick thing we're gonna do before we go get coffee. I have these tires there. I guess these are interstate too. Uh, Chris Jackson like became a distributor for them. And these were cheap. They're like 80 treadwear, so they're you know basically race tires. And they were like 50 bucks each. They're 225s, but I already have them mounted. I don't know how they're gonna be for drifting, but since we're doing some grip racing, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw these wheels on the front because I know they fit good in the front with the spacers. Throw these on the back so then we'll have a full set of like legit R comps to do the grip racing with. So, because right now I have R comps in the back and then Ken is in the front and the car is understeery as is. So, don't want to make that issue worse. So, you know, let's swap these around. That's how she looks with uh, our comps front and rear. Rear wheat fitment's a little weak. I tried to put spacers on, but the spacers would have poked it. Oh, I don't know, it feels like the spacers should have been okay. But that's okay, because most of my wheels fit well without spacers, so I'd have to take them back off anyway. Okay, now for coffee. Okay, I don't know how well I'm in frame. I'm trying out a new GoPro gimbal setup. Just really trying to I don't know, have some fun stuff up the quality of the content, like give myself better perspectives and things like that, with being able to get cooler shots. Anyway, anyway first drive in this evening.
still feel like I'm about to get pulled over because I'm driving with no plate, but I got a plate, son! And Ryan Legal, registration, insurance. First street drive was a success. I mean, so far, we're only there, we're not back. But we got our coffee, got a nice uh, blueberry muffin. Uh, so I just gotta figure out, I've been messing with this setup which you guys probably saw some of on the way here. Uh, so it's this gimbal with a Hero 5 session. It was like a package deal, and I figured I could make it work pretty well to do certain things. Uh, so far, it's, it's not really doing what I need it to do. So we're gonna mess with it some, see if we can get it set up better. Because my goal was to set it up on the roof in the center and then lock it so that when you transition left, it stays straight, transition right, stays straight. But the problem is, when I was just messing with it, it'll just stay straight no matter what. So if we do like a hairpin turn and go back this way, it's just gonna be facing backwards, which could make for some cool footage if someone's following me. I don't know, I'll have to play with it. I'll have to play with it. Anyway, I'm gonna reset it up and then we're gonna get back to the house so we can actually do work on stuff. But I am having fun, this has been fun. Like this reminds me of being 17 years old with my drift car as my daily, like cruising around. I haven't done this in a while, you know? It'd be funny, should I drive with my gloves on? <laughs> Better get ready to go for a cruise around town. I'm gonna go ahead and yank the bash bar off so we can paint it. We're gonna paint it silver because we're all doing liveries on the side of our doors. Mine is gonna be silver because we didn't want to do black because you couldn't even see it on a blue car. We've also got new doors. Adam had Tommy pick them up um, and get them painted. So the only thing is we definitely won't have time to do them before we leave. So I'll be doing them at the track. We'll be doing doors and vinyl at the track, but isn't it always last minute? Slaps roof of Z, rust falls out. Okay, yeah, let's paint this bad boy. So I've got two coats on the bash bar. Need to do at least one more coat. The hard part about painting stuff like this is you always miss something. There's always like, like I sprayed under here, but maybe like on this part of the backside that I can't see, there's no paint. Happens to me every time, cage, bash bar, whatever, I always miss something. Just cause you gotta, you know, paint 360 degrees around. It's kind of hard. Looks nice in silver though. I think it'll look a lot better on the front. You'll actually be able to see it. The black one, I only painted it black because I wanted it to match my wheel. While we wait for the bash bar to dry, got some tires to mount. Always my favorite part of going drifting. <laughs> All right, well, that's what it looks like with a silver bash bar. Uh, it looks a lot better for sure. Just the fact that you can actually see that there's a bash bar there. See what it looks like from down low. Solid. Happy with that. Hashtag streetcar. Okay, well, I guess that's going to be it for tonight. Tomorrow, we got to go pick up the transfer for the vet. So I'll see you guys then. All right. Look what showed up. Oh, man, I'm so freaking hyped. New welders came in. If you guys remember uh, a couple videos ago, I was talking about how we were able to get a welder sponsor on board. This is it. Of course, they come the day before I leave for my trip, but still, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. We're gonna put them in the truck just to take them around back because I'm not carrying them all the way over there. They're heavy. Welders are heavy. All right, got them all set up. That's gonna be it for the day. <laughs> oh, I just see. I see a Penske truck leaving. I think my my Kendas are here. Let's go see. Ta-da! So I just don't know when the trans is arriving in Orlando. It says it left at eight this morning with 15 stops to go, or being the 15th stop. So I, I don't know. I don't know, maybe it's gonna be there in a minute, maybe not. I don't wanna go too late, cause then I'll hit traffic on the way in and definitely on the way out, and I wanna get back in daylight so I can load the car up. Uh, but I don't wanna leave too early, and then 
you know, just be sitting around waiting for it to show up. So <laughs> it's a bit of a conundrum. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and run to Orlando because Tommy is picking up my bumpers and doors now. Uh, Adam was able to find a set and get them painted for me uh, by the guy who paints his car. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab those now. That way I can hopefully get them on tonight. That way I don't have to do it there because the plan was just to have them bring them up and then do it at the track. But we got a little bit of leeway right now, so we might as well try to knock it out tonight. It'll be a long night probably, but it'll be worth it to not have to deal with it later. Your boy is about to be fresh to death. Freshly painted bumper. Only ever had completely trashed bumpers. So to have a brand new, like a freshly painted bumper is incredibly exciting. We got doors too. Tommy's here. It's a freight company. There's Tim. Ta-da! Nice, fresh transmission. I don't know if I can fit this pallet in there with the uh, doors and such. I'll update you guys when we get it in the truck. That all fits. Two doors, bumper, trans. I was a little worried, but we're good. Everything should be solid. Oh, and you guys have been asking where's Marco? Here, Boy, working. <laughs> He's also doing YouTube again. So I'm go trying. follow his YouTube channel for all of you who want to know where Marco is. I'm trying. Did you make a video saying where's Marco? I did, I made a where have I been video. Yeah, there you go. Go watch that. Okay. Bye Marco. Come visit me. Man, that could not have worked out better. I wasn't sure when the trans was gonna show up and I was like, I've gotta go down there. I've gotta get this stuff. I gotta get heading back because you know, I've got so much time tonight. I've got so much to do. I, I can't wait, you know, too much longer. Worst case, I'll have to go pick it up later, which I really don't want to do. But I literally finished loading up at Adam's warehouse, got a text from Marco, your trains just showed up. Like, how much better timing could that have been? And if I had left any earlier, I would have missed the delivery of the welders, which I had to sign for. Like, today's a good day, guys. Today has been a good day. It's nice to come back to Orlando and and see everyone and see Marco. I miss Marco. I wish Marco could be in my videos more. I, I just, I live farther now. He's busy with work and it's been a good day. It's been a good day. Side note, uh, how many of you guys remember, did you ever listen to MGMT? I remember this was super popular back in like high school. I've been listening to it again lately and it just, when I'm in the mood for it, I'm in the mood for it, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we made it back with time to spare, which is very fortunate because my goal is to get all of this unloaded and then all of my drift event stuff loaded, trailer hooked up and ready for to load the car on it before it gets dark. Because we're gonna work on the car when it's dark, but it's kind of annoying to load up when it's dark. So as a plan, I'm gonna get to it. Traded one full load for another. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised everything fit because I got four unmounted tires plus my other eight wheels with tires on them plus the fit bike. All such stuff, show spare, gas, tools. Oh, tools, no, they're in the truck. They're inside the truck. Yeah, that's pretty much everything I can think of. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I guess I can bring jack stands because I have the room. I even brought a spare oil cooler in case I break mine somehow and get in a crash. Just trying to be prepared. When you're going this far, it's one of those things where you just want to be as prepared as possible. So anyway, I'm gonna hook the trailer up, get it ready to load the car on it, and then we can start working on the car, uh, which I probably won't film much of because I am on a time crunch. We gotta get up early tomorrow. I don't wanna be up till midnight doing this stuff, so we're gonna try to hustle. I did realize that I don't have like rear side markers because they're in my old bumper, which got destroyed at Grid Life. And I don't have the hatch thing because that was also in my old bumper, which got destroyed at Grid Life. So we're gonna be looking a little jank, but we're gonna be looking a lot better. Get one, get, get a good look at this thing as it sits so that you can see it in all its glory when it's a little better and not a complete pile of junk. Okay, remember that look. Remember it, remember. All right, we got the first door gutted. It really wasn't too terrible. This backing plate like holds the whole window regulator, which is kind of weird. All in all, not terrible though. Not terrible, Ben's getting the last seal off from around the mirror area. And we'll throw the next door on and just kind of reattach everything. It seemed like the easiest option was to do it while it's on the car as opposed to trying to do it on the ground. Got that fresh. Fresh painted Johnski. Whoop, whoop. Check it out. Still a piece of junk, but less of a piece of junk. We got non destroyed doors. We got a rear bumper. That's a sight. Oh, hold on. This door's not shut all the way. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay, open them. See? Yeah, woo. 
so much better. That makes a huge difference. My Z looks like still a piece of trash, but it looks like I kind of care or something. So when we get up there, we'll be doing the side vinyl, the team proximity vinyl. So that should be pretty cool. Uh, the, the issues I'm having is my side skirts don't fit well. The rear bumper, I'm missing the bracket on this side, but I got it on pretty well. I rib nutted it. I rib nutted the side skirts with like actual bolts. So hopefully all this stuff stays on my car for once. <laughs> hopefully. I'm going to throw it on the trailer now. Finish getting loaded up because I do not feel like loading up in the morning. Uh, they're trying to leave pretty early, which we should. So I'm going to go ahead and call this video here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Goodbye.